Uridine monophosphate is one of the most effective nootropics on the market. But what does it actually do? And what to expect from it? Now, I've been taking it daily for the past couple of months, and in this video, I'm going to tell you how it impacted my life. Hi hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg and I'm a certified brain health professional. If biohacking, nootropics and optimizing brain performance interest you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Now, just before I share my experience with uridan monophosphate, let's check out what this nootropic is and what kind of benefits you can expect from it. Now, uridan monophosphate is a phospholipid and a building block of DNA and RNA. Uridine assists brain function in multiple ways. First, it promotes neurite outgrowth. This is important because a proper synaptic function is crucial for optimal brain health and performance. And we know that by taking uridine monophosphate, you can increase the neurite outgrowth. Secondly, uridine can boost dopamine levels and it can also speed up dopamine transmission in the brain. Now, uridine is also the precursor to acetylcholine, which is an important neurotransmitter for cognitive performance, memory and learning. And lastly, uridine acts as a neuroprotectant as it can promote the growth of new neurons and protect your brain from the toxic beta amyloid. So, what kind of benefits can you expect from uridine? Now, it may help prevent dementia and Alzheimer's, it can improve memory and learning, it reduces inflammation in your brain, it may reduce depression, and it may help with several other cognitive issues. For example, studies show that it may be beneficial for people with Huntington's disease, people with epilepsy and seizures, and for people with bipolar disorder. Now, before we talk about the potential side effects and optimal dosage, let's check out my experience with uridine monophosphate. By the way, guys, have you ever tried it? And did you like the effects? Let me know in the comment section below. So, I've been taking uridine monophosphate for several years. First, as a part of quality of mind, but for the past couple of months, I was taking it as an individual nootropic to see how it impacts my brain performance. And what I found out was quite amazing. So, I've started my test by taking 250 mg of uridine monophosphate per day, which seems to be a perfect dosage for long-term use. For example, Qualia Mind contains exactly the same dosage of uridine. So, I took one capsule of uridine in the morning after my breakfast. For the first couple of days, I didn't notice any effects, which is what usually happens with nootropics. But since I knew it's a very beneficial and potent nootropic, I continued taking the same dosage. Now, after a few weeks, I started noticing an additional brain boost. It felt like I had less of a brain fog and my brain started working better. But keep in mind, I was still taking a low dosage of only uridine monophosphate without any other compounds, so what I did next was even better. By the way, are you searching for the best nootropics for your individual needs? If yes, go for a free brain assessment, link below, and get a personalized recommendation for the best nootropics. So far, I've been taking one capsule of uridine monophosphate per day, and this is about 250 milligrams. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double the dosage to 500 milligrams of uridine monophosphate daily. Now, according to some studies, this may be an even more uh, optimal and potent dosage, at least for short-term use. So yes, I'm going to try it now and see what happens, how it impacts uh, my brain performance. Now, in addition to that, I'm going to combine uridine monophosphate with citicoline, uh, which is a choline compound, and I'm going to take about 300 milligrams of citicoline daily. And in addition to that, I'm going to combine it with about two grams of algae oil, uh, which is an omega-3, uh, fatty acids oil or a supplement uh, that contains EPA and DHA. Now you can combine it with, with classical fish oil, so with omega-3 fish oil if you want to, but I just prefer a source from algae because it's cleaner and even better for you, but usually more expensive. Then I'm going to continue taking this combo for a while, uh, write down everything that I notice in terms of how my uh, performance changes or improves or whatever happens, and then I'm going to tell you uh, yeah, what actually happens if I can see a difference in my performance. Now, it's kind of hard to say what kind of effects am I going to feel because uridine monophosphate is not a typical nootropic that delivers those short-term effects. But hey, I'm open-minded, let's try it out, um, and uh, yeah, let's see what happens. So I've been taking this higher dosage of uridine monophosphate for a few weeks again, and I definitely had even more brain power than before. Now, the main difference that I've noticed was in the afternoon. 
it seemed like I could work longer without experiencing brain fog. So while I cannot judge the impact of Uridan on my memory and learning capabilities, because that's really hard to measure, I definitely noticed having an improved mental performance. But that's not the main reason why I've been supplementing Uridan monophosphate. Now, before I tell you why you should consider supplementing this potentropic compound, let's talk about the optimal dosage and the potential side effects. Now, the optimal daily dosage of uridine monophosphate is between 250 mg to 1 gram. Dosages used in studies vary from 500 mg to 1 gram, but for long-term use, I prefer to stay on the safer side, so I suggest taking between 250 to 500 mg of uridine monophosphate. As I mentioned earlier, it makes sense to combine uridine with a choline compound, you can learn more about it in this video up here, and omega-free fatty acids. Now, regarding the side effects, uridine monophosphate is very well tolerated without any major reports of side effects. For the best result, you should start your uridine protocol by taking a small dosage and then slowly increase it. Uridine is generally not recommended for people with cancer, diabetes, and heart issues. Of course, do consult your doctor before taking uridine. So, who is uridine monophosphate best for? Well, it's particularly recommended for individuals who want to amplify the effects of their brain performance or for those looking to enhance their motivational levels. Also, people who feel that they may have become desensitized to dopamine-enhancing supplements can also give uridine monophosphate a try. Other than this, if all you're looking for is additional brain development benefits such as healthy cell membranes and brain cells, then you can consider taking uridine monophosphate as well. So generally, I think uridine is a great nootropic for high achievers who care about their brain performance and brain health. So what's my final verdict about uridine? Well, based on the available research and my personal experience, uridine monophosphate is a great nootropic for brain health and performance. It is potent, it is safe, and pretty affordable. For example, uh, a bottle like this, bought on Tropics Depot with 60 caps, costs about 20 bucks, and I think that's not too expensive. By the way, there's a link below if you want to order it. However, I generally recommend taking it with choline and omega-3 due to the mentioned synergies. So check below my favorite nootropic stack that contains uridine monophosphate with those compounds. Speaking of combining it with choline, watch my next video here where you can learn everything you need to know about citicholine, my favorite choline compound. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.